Hi guys, I'm here to give an example how to solve u substitution. The problem is integral of e raised to 5x plus 2 dx. Let u equals 5x plus 2, then du equals 5 dx. So 1 bit du equals dx. Rewrite the problem using u and du. Next step is combine e raised to u and 1 over 5. Since 1 over 5 is a constant with respect to u, move 1 over 5 out of the integral so that 1 over 5 integral e raised to u du. The integral of e raised to u with respect to u is e raised to u. And simplify, replace all occurrences of u with 5x plus 2. And the final answer is 1 over 5 e raised to 5x plus 2 plus c. There are 5 steps to remember in doing or solving the u-substitution. For us to solve correctly, first is pick u. In the given, we can pick x raised to 2 minus 5 as 4, and if we notice, the left constant variables are 6x and dx. We should forget the derivative of x squared minus 5 is because it's going to be equal to the rest of the integral, which is 6x and dx. If we multiply both sides by 3, it will give us a product of 6x dx. Now, our du statement are the same with the given example. In the given, we can replace it as integral of u raised to 50 plus an open parenthesis 3 du. We can put the 3 outside the integral. Since we have 50 exponents, we will add 1 at the numerator and denominator. Then don't forget to add the constant or plus c. So we can simplify it a bit. So it becomes 3u raised to 51 over 51 plus c. In the last step, we must replace u with the x term. As we remind, our u is equivalent to x raised to 2 minus 5. So that is our final answer, which is 3, close up in parenthesis, x raised to 2 minus 5, raised to 51 over 51. Make sure not to forget and add constant variable at the end of the equation. Thank you. Suppose we have integral cosine to the fourth of theta times sine of theta d theta. Remember that cosine of theta to the fourth, you can rewrite that as the following, and to see it a little bit better. I used to rewrite this to make things clearer. So I'm going to let u equals cosine of theta. Well, the derivative or the differential is going to be negative sine of theta d theta. Though it says I get negative sine theta d theta, well, I can just multiply both sides by a negative and get negative du. Okay, so you can think about the negative is simply being a negative 1, and you can pull that all the way out from it. And again, now all you have to do is integrate u to the 4th becomes u to the 5th over 5 plus c. And then again, we'll simply plug back in what our original u substitution was back in. So it says, u was cosine of theta raised to the 5th power divided by 5 plus c. And that will be your antiderivative for this problem. Good day everyone. Today I will teach you the integration by u substitution. So I I have here the example of integration of 2x times x squared plus 3 squared dx. So we will let you 
equals to this x squared plus 3 then du over dx is equals to 2x then cross multiply so du is equals to 2x dx so now we will rewrite the problem as integration of u squared du so to solve this by, by power rule we can get the integral this as u is to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c remember that you need to always put down something there so compute u q over 3 plus c then substitute the value of u which is final answer okay, we are going to integrate an equation using u substitution so first are we going to do is so let u that u is equals to 12x plus 4 and since 4 is a constant, the 0, so, so it's now 12 dx du. So we're going to multiply 1, 12, so it's now du 1 over 12 over plus dx. So, write lang natin yung problem using u and du so it's now so easy simplify lang natin multiply natin to to dito so ito na yung kakalabasan niya so it's now i-move natin yung 12 to the left of u raised to 5 so du since yung 5 and 12 ah uh, 5 over 12 is constant i-move natin siya out of the integral so so and na siya, yun yung kinalabasan niya. So, now, we were going to apply the basic rules of exponent. Since, um, so, i-move natin yung u raised to 5 out of the denominator by raising it to the ne negative 1 power. So, yun ang basic rule. So, ganito na ang mangyayari. So, it's... Yan. So, i-multiply natin yung exponent. So, magiging negative lang ito. So, yan. So, i-apply na natin yung power rule. So, ang power rule ng integral of u, ito, ito, ito. Yung integral of u, negative 5, with respect to u, is 1 over 4 u, negative 4. So, isusulat lang natin siya. So, it's yan. So, isisimplify na natin siya. So, to simplify, this is now, so, ito na, malapit na tayo matapos. I-replace na natin lahat ng u. Yan, ito, u. Replace na natin siya. Ibabalik natin siya dito sa ating unahan. Ito, ito, ito. Yeah. So, it is now the final answer. <laughs>